I want to ask you, on one hand, your character carries history, but on a very, very believable way. Uh, the past is heavy, but she moves. And your character is like the young innocent who is in love. How did you guys, I think, how did you guys accomplish to uh, transmit that to us as an audience? Well, um, I thought it was very important or fun to make sure that Ellis was um, not just the perfect guy, right, but also like uh, lively and fun and so that we and and so that we maybe understand that it's also really nice for Adeline to to be around this young energy and but you, but you also had a sense of timelessness to him which which comes innately by having Nikhil play Ellis but you know the fact that she can Thank go you. and talk about Sonny Liston with him or old jazz or you know Josephine Baker or you know um, these these books people don't even read books anymore you know and and um, you know the fact that there's a man who who is very much an old soul it's startling because you, you you don't get to do that with men often so I think for her she recognizes an old soul and for him he recognizes an old soul he just doesn't know <laughs> Why? That she is actually yeah, yeah. old. <laughs> Very old. But uh, no, it worked really wonderful. Congratulations. Uh, would you say the film deals with youth and timeless uh, beauty or whatever? Do you think we live in a society that is obsessed by those concepts? Yeah, I, I don't think it's just now, though. I mean, you look back into Greek times. I mean, we've always been looking for the fountain of youth, but it's because it's what we don't have. It's it's human nature. You always look for, you know, it's that grass is always greener thing. And we don't have immortality, so we look and say, well, wouldn't that be amazing? Where if this movie shows if you did have immortality, it's actually it's actually a, a, a bit of a, a curse, a bit of a tragedy. There's always a tragedy. If you would get to choose a period in the 20th century, to live in, which period would you? I think you would probably go for uh, like the 40s, not because of the times, but the music and the style. I wouldn't want to live there if I could just no. extract the music and the style. Yeah. Yeah, because the 40s were not uh, not not a, a time that you would want to live no. in politically and socially, but, but the style and the music. But for him, 60s. And I would totally sense. live in it. Totally. Yeah, if I could take my it. family with me. Yeah, but that's why I've sort of taken the 40s to modern time. So I'd say modern time because I, I listen to that music. I sort of dress like, you know, I'm, I'm confused as to what decade I live in. And, um, but that's the beauty of the character. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, in, in a way, uh, Adeline's and the relationship with her daughter is very intense. She really changes because of her. Would you say that being a father or a mother changes one's life? In a oh, <laughs> We don't, yes. our lives on our own anymore, so uh, yeah. No. I think for me, it felt like when I became a father, um, my daughter is seven years old now, uh, it kind of felt like everything all of a sudden fell into place. I understood better why, even why I was an actor, you yeah. know? Because I'm providing for my family. Yeah, I didn't understand why I was an actor because I thought, what am I doing except <laughs> staring at you all day? I mean, it's just like, it's, I'm, I'm, I've become addicted to just that child. It's, it's not healthy. I'm sure one day I'll be over her. When it comes no. to when it comes to <laughs> like uh, getting new roles, what do you guys search for, or what? I know you're doing uh, Games of Thrones, which is yes. cool, and you're working, and everything is apparently great, no? Or, um, <laughs> I always just look for something that, that, that challenges me. I'm about to play a woman who loses her eyesight at a young age, and so she's she's blind until she has an experimental surgery. So it's like, you know, that's that's something that's incredibly different than anything I've ever done, and it's something that terrifies me, and that's what I look for. Yeah. Um, basically, a good another great rule is uh, you read a script, and you think, like, is this a movie that I would want to watch? You know? And if it's a movie you would want to watch, you know, yeah. you, you very likely want to be part of yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Although that kind of ruins the last yeah. watch experience. Totally. Sorry. It last, if you had the opportunity to to have an eternal life, be always 29 or 30, would you go for it? No way. No. I think that's one of the things that the age of Adeline will show you. Yeah. You know, you want to be a part of the cycle of life. Yeah, because time is only valuable because of love. And if, and if you don't get the people that you love to surround you and you have infinite amounts of time, you're just alone for eternity. That sounds awful. <laughs> <laughs>